Hello, everybody. Welcome to art class. This is the the remote edition. This, uh, this presentation is going to be a little different because we're only here in remote form over the, the computers. Uh, once we get back in school, uh, there'll be some added stuff. But for right now, a pretty uh, short presentation. All right. Uh, this is what you're going to need for every class. So at the beginning of class, you should already have these things collected. Um, paper lined is fine, um, but if you have, you know, drawing paper, printer paper, something without lines, it probably will be better, but lined is fine. Whatever you have. Uh, regular pencil. So the number two, the yellow ones um, with also an eraser. Uh, and these colored pencils, if you don't have these, go get them. Uh, the dollar store has them for uh, I don't know, a couple bucks. Um, but we're going to need these four colors. All right. Uh, meets. All students come to the meet on Monday. So Monday is when I assign the project for the week. If you don't show up on Monday and you try to do the project without me explaining it, and it's wrong, you will probably waste about an hour of your time or more doing something that will not get you a good grade. Coming to the meets on Monday, I will explain how to do the, the project, step-by-step -step instruction, and you should be able to get a higher grade for Monday. That's, coming to the meets is important on Monday. Uh, when you get to the meet, make sure your camera is on uh, and your mic is off. Uh, the chat area is for questions only, so I don't, uh, I guess you could say hi to me, but having conversations uh, in the chat is is not what we're looking for. Uh, the, the first 10, 15 minutes of the meet is me telling you what to do, and if people are putting things that aren't questions in the chat, it's going to slow down the process. So. Make sure chat is for questions only. Okay, grades. There is a formula for the grades. It's a like math kind of, um, which makes sense because right now we're doing number grades. It's math. All right, so uh, the first thing you can do, come to the meets. If I give you the right directions, you listen to the directions. Oh, read the directions. That's a part two. But if you come to the meets, I can help you. If you're not coming to the meets, I can't help you get a higher grade, and it's on you, and come to the meets. Uh, read the directions. I had a lot of students that just did the project and did it wrong because they didn't read the directions. Um, doing the projects are also important, so you need to do the work. And uh, check your email for feedback. So if I don't give you like a 90 or above on a project, I will probably send you a message saying, why you got that uh, grade that you did and what you can do to improve it. You can always turn things in for a higher grade um, more than once. And I might give a little points off for lateness, but if what you turn in is amazing and it's a little late, that's not a big deal. Um, so you do those four things, you're going to get good grades and you're going to have great art, which you probably want. Um, so. Grades are fine, great arts. If you keep your art that you make in this class, that'll make me so happy. And you're probably not gonna keep something that you don't think looks good, so. Um, all right, and the final thing to do is your best. Uh, and make sure you're having fun. If it's not fun, let me know. I'll see if I can figure out a way to make it fun for you. Um, if you're not having fun doing art, you're probably not going to uh, want to do it. <laughs> All right, so uh, I look forward to uh, working with you, um, and I uh, hope to see you real soon.